What's going on, y'all? I'm here to report some sad news. Jason Dwayne on Freud, better known as stage name XXS Tentacion, was shot and killed earlier today in Brower County, Florida. Um, like shortly after leaving a motorsports store, it was reported that two men got out of a dark colored SUV, robbed and shot him and allegedly left with a Louis Vuitton bag. Now, I had first heard of X about two years ago, but like last year is when I first really started paying attention to him through his interviews and his performances. And I wasn't a huge fan of him, but it was wonderful to see him turn his life around from one way to another. He had such a huge impact on his audience. And he was just 20 years old, so, you know, he had a younger, majority younger audience, but he had a mixed crowd of fans. At the same time, he did a lot to give back to his community, and he just started living his life, you know, just leading a more positive lifestyle. He had been known to do things in the past that wasn't so becoming of him, but, you know, we're all humans. And you live and you learn. Not to talk about his past and things that he may have done in the past that wasn't good for his life or things that he probably did, you know, bad. I don't want to talk bad about him at all. Also, about this video going around, it said that people will do anything to get attention on social media. I mean, it was close-up videos of a child when he was lifeless, slunched over in the car. I mean, it's just sad when we're so numb to what's going on nowadays to where we don't even have the respect enough, you know, not to do things like that. And it may not be for attention, but where's the respect at the time that it's really needed? I just don't understand it. This man's family have to see that. But I would like to offer my sincere condolences to his family. I mean, I just may be following up on this as new details arise. But I just wanted to come on. I know it's it's pretty late. I've just been uh, off and on the internet all day and just reading different blogs and stuff and looking at some old interviews. I've seen a couple of interviews with him with, well, I've seen an interview with him with academics a while back, and then another interview with him like two years ago, two years ago, when he was getting a lot of negative backlash. But like I say, since then, he has turned his life around for the more positive, and who am I to judge? I'm not here to speak negative on his past in any way. I'm just here to speak on this tragic news about him, um, it's sad. Life cut so short. Don't know, you know, many details on it, so I'm not going to speak too, too much on, you know, why this happened. I mean, I don't know. At this point, I'm kind of pretty speechless because it's just so sad that this is just going on. <sighs> And then, you know, it's with the entertainers now. It's with the young and upcoming rappers. And it's just sad. I really, I'm really at a loss for words at this point. But I would like to thank y'all for watching. And um, I'll talk to y'all soon.